Welcome to Wednesday Night Live. Thank you so much for joining me. And for everybody watching this video later on replay, I do want to point out that this is a live video. The whole point is for me to chit chat with people and answer questions and comments and everything else. So um, if that's not your kind of video, that's totally fine. Feel free to watch one of my regular tutorials. <laughs> Um, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be mixing paint with the Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium so I can show you guys how it works and how awesome it is. We'll do a pour with that um, and I have a few announcements. Hey Megan, did you get that paint I sent you by the way? I don't think I ever heard back from you on that. <laughs> hey Veronica. So um, a couple quick announcements. One on all orders starting tonight and going through Christmas, you will get one of these awesome scratchers. So these can have different discounts from 10% off your whole order to 50% off of courses, 25% off of uh, split cups, bottle bottoms, etc. So, um, get your orders in. These are going to be going out with every single order between now and Christmas. Now, obviously, that applies to product orders, not courses or events, because we don't ship those. So everything that we ship, you'll get one of these. If you place multiple orders during that time, you'll get multiple ones of these. But don't break up your orders so that you get more than one, because that won't work. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Um, and if there's any orders that you have placed that we haven't shipped yet, you'll still get one of these, okay? Awesome, Rhonda. Good to hear. Um, and then the second announcement is that um, right now I'm doing a special 40% off of any course through Friday, and that is with the code NEW YOU, N E W Y O U, on my website. And that'll give you 40% uh, off of any one of my online courses, okay? So those are the two awesomely fun things going on right now. And let's get started. I'm gonna get this pulled up on my computer really quick so I can see y'all in my chat box here. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be a fairly detailed but not boring <laughs> um, video of mixing paint with the mixed media girl pouring medium. Oh, also as you guys tune in, let me know where everybody's tuning in from, okay? Hey, Linda. Um, hey, Barbie, Kathleen. We got Illinois in the house, we got Melbourne. That's awesome. So I'm gonna be mixing up some different types of paint. I've got regular artist loft tube paint I have Deco Art um, Extreme Sheen 24K paint, and I have the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic paint, or they call it now Soft Body Paint. It's uh, used to be the Flow Acrylic. Now hold on a second, because my computer, there we go. And I apologize for kind of the mess here. I am running low on paper, to be honest. So let's mix up. We're gonna mix up these four colors and they're pretty Christmassy colors, okay? Um, so to start with, I mix these um, basically the same way that I would mix Floetrol, um, which is two to one ratio. So two ounces of pouring medium to one ounce of paint. Um, I'm gonna mix up a little more of the white so for that one, I will do four ounces of the pouring medium to two ounces of paint. So I can have a little more of that one. And uh, an important thing to know about this pouring medium is it is 100% acrylic based. It is not latex like the uh, Floetrol is. So it will last a lot longer um, in terms of like storage and bottle life or whatever shelf life. Um, and the effects are a lot more archival. 
So it's, we don't really know on Floetrol like how long that's gonna break down or whatever. I still absolutely love Floetrol, but this is now my favorite pouring medium. <laughs> so awesome, Barbie. Um, okay, so the Artist Loft Red, it is thicker, but it's not as thick as the tube paints. So we're gonna just be adding one ounce of each of these colors. So that's just red. This one is emerald green, and it's a little bit thicker than that red. And then we have the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24K. Let me just mix that up a little bit better in the bottle. This one out of all the paints that I'm using is by far the thinnest. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. You may even want to add a little bit extra of the paint and a little less pouring medium. And then we've got the white artist loft, which, uh oh, I just broke the little tabby thing off of it. Please hold. Need to poke this hole out somehow. It's my scissors. There we go. All right, so we're doing two ounces of the white. Um, also a difference between this pouring medium and the Floetrol, which if you've used it, you might have noticed this difference. Um, it mixes in a lot easier, I have found, than mixing with the Floetrol. So that's just something that I've noticed. It's real easy to mix in. There's our red. I just looking back Christmas colors here. This is the emerald. Now tube paints being a little bit thicker. I'll show you guys the consistency in a second, but um, we may need to add some water to the tube paints. We should not need to to this deco art one because it's gonna be pretty, pretty thin. See that? It's pretty watery. So definitely would not need to add any water to that. But the white and the green, we may need to. Now it's pretty impossible to give an exact ratio of everything because like I said, we're dealing with different consistencies of paint. So for instance, I'm gonna just show you the difference between the red and the green here. So the red is a little bit thicker than the gold, but still um, pretty thin. Okay, versus the green is a little bit thicker than that. It's still not bad. And if you like thicker pouring paint, you might not even need to do anything to this, but I wanna get it to the consistency of one of these. I can't have these three different consistencies that really won't work. Yeah. And then the white is definitely thicker. Okay. So I'm going to definitely, I'm going to add water to the white and to the green. And let me just grab my cup of water that I hid from myself. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't take a lot. So I would just add in a tiny bit. Remember, you can add it in. You cannot take it back out. So try not to put too much because if you put too much, then you got to just add more paint and more pouring medium, okay? How's everybody doing? How uh, how are your weeks going? Is everyone kind of getting ready for the holiday madness? We had the grand opening at the new place last weekend, which was really exciting slash kind of terrifying. Um, but I think it was super fun. All right, so this is now a much, much better consistency. I think because this gold is a little bit thinner, I am gonna add a little more paint to that just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. It's just a thinner paint. So feel free to um, modify this a little bit, but I always start with two thirds pouring medium to one third paint. And these cups are from Amazon. Um, Veronica can grab the link. Thank you, Rhonda. And that's really all there is to it. These are now ready to pour. Now, one thing is um, because we just mixed them, there's a lot of um, air bubbles in there. 
So I do recommend mixing hours or even a day before if possible. I know that's not always possible, but just keep that in mind. Uh, Twyla, I do not have specific store hours yet until I can get a full-time employee that can run the store. I'm not there full-time. So um, if you would like to visit the store, simply shoot me an email or a Facebook message or something, and I will make sure someone is there to assist you. That's kind of the best that I can do for right now. But pretty soon we'll have a full-time person in there and store hours will be probably kind of the same as like office hours, nine to five-ish with weekends and stuff, but we'll see. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the capacity to have as many employees as say Michael's has or anything like that. Hopefully you guys understand. Someday, someday. But for now, it's by appointment only, and then it's always open during classes and events. Okay, what we're going to do here is a straight pour. And I am going to do this on my spinner. Uh, we, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're asking about. The current coupon I have right now, oh, I think that's what you're asking about is 40% off of courses. Definitely not 40% off of everything where I would seriously lose some money. <laughs> I do not have that much of a profit margin on anything. <laughs> so the current coupon is 40% off of courses only. Um, I'm not going to take this down because I'm not going to really be spinning it, but I will probably regret that. I put, oh, I even brought home some double-sided sticky tape. Where is it? And then I hid it from myself like I'm very good at doing. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am going to tape it down. Every time I don't tape it, I, I feel bad. <laughs> Um, have not had a chance yet, have some paints that may be readily available worldwide, so I think that would be a good example. Oh, thank you, Jill. I'm so, so thankful. Yeah, I know, right, Barbie? I wish. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda, I think I, I got confused there. All right. <laughs> so, I'll grab the tape. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, it is time for some studio cleaning. And I will, I'll make sure this gets, yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna actually adjust the camera because I can't slide this too much forward. So give me just a second. I'm gonna just put a couple pieces of double-sided sticky tape on here. Four to be exact, not really a couple but I will make sure that it is fully in camera view before we start, I promise. Okay. And this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas, you guys. All right. Let's have a camera adjustment. I think right about here is comfortable for me. Oh, okay, sorry, Rhonda, I got that now. No worries. I'm gonna take off my gloves to put the tape on. Now I gotta get my gloves back on. That's always a pain in the butt. Okay. It's so funny, like I've been doing these lives for so long, but it's still always just a little bit nerve wracking. Like it's always just a little like pressure, pressure to be perfect, pressure to not knock anything over, pressure to have a nice, awesome painting, you know what I mean? Pressure to keep things moving along and not have them be boring. It's a lot of pressure still. Okay, I got this other glove on. All right, well, that was fun. Okay, and then we had a whole discussion about pressure while I did it. I'm gonna raise this up and move it. There we go. Try not to judge my table too hard. This is my third live video today. 
even did two on Facebook. Okay. So for this canvas, we need about nine ounces of paint, which can fill this basically to the top. So I'm gonna start off with some white. Then let's do green. I'm gonna try to layer these so I don't get too much pink. And I'm gonna try not to put the green and the red next to each other too much. But it's kind of impossible not to put green and red or green or red and white next to each other. Um, let's layer just a slight more gold here and then white. And this gold, if you've ever used it before, you know it's a pretty crazy cell creator, so we don't want to go too crazy with it. Okay. Hey, Leanne. All right, and I'm just going to top it with white, even though it's right next to that red. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do this as a straight pour, and I'm going to very slightly rotate the canvas as I do it. So as stated earlier, we'll have some air bubbles in there, but that's okay. It's still going to be awesome, and hopefully you guys can see how easy it was to get these colors mixed up and use them pretty much right away. We'll have a nice Christmassy painting here. These actually just happen to be the colors that I had to mix. <laughs> um, they're from the grand opening because we were doing a bunch of Christmas ornaments. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so you already see some cells popping up with the gold there. Um, this isn't my favorite green, but it's not bad. And we're just gonna spin this out a little bit. Ooh, look at that. Yeep. <laughs> um, and we definitely have a lot of the pouring medium in stock right now. So order today and it will be shipped out right away. And like I said, with all orders starting now and any orders we haven't shipped yet, you will get that coupon, that little scratcher, which will have some sort of great coupon in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna spin one more time. I kind of want to stretch this side out a bit more. It's a little more exciting to me. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty intense. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let me bring you guys in for a close up and then I should have plenty of paint to make another one. Plus, you can use these with other pouring paints. Um, so my pre-mixed pouring paints are the same mixture we have here basically, more or less. Um, yeah. So they can definitely be used in conjunction and you should be able to use these with our, uh, the Arteza pouring paints, the Decor pouring paints, the uh, folk art, whatever pouring paints. I don't know. All right. Camera's going to shake. Close your eyes for a second or be a rebel and don't. That's okay too. But I just want to show you guys the close up here. Very Christmassy. <laughs> um, a lot of the gold disappeared, ironically. That's actually surprising. But it was the lightest of the colors, so. Let that be a lesson, I guess. <laughs> You're a rebel. Me too. <laughs> Still really pretty and can't really see it very easily through the camera, but we do have a lot of the gold shimmer in here, which is awesome. Well, thank you for joining us, Bianca. I really like this. Um, I do not sell this cake turner, but it is in my Amazon store and Veronica can grab you the link uh, because it is definitely like one of the best investments I have ever made and I would never go back. 
Um, all right, let me move this out of the way and then we have time for one more. Got to use up these colors. Um, if anyone has any color suggestions that I should add to this, let me know. Maybe some browns and we get it a little more earthy. This is pretty bright. So to remove it, I just reach underneath and gently pull up on those little pieces of tape that are under there. Without dropping the canvas. And if you're smart, you do this while you still have your gloves on. All right, Christmas leaves. Okay. Because I love this spinner so much, we'll do another one on here. What's makes big pears? Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm so sorry, we I do not understand your question. Or what you're referring to on the discount. Are you referring to the turntable? Because I don't sell it, Amazon does. And you have to check to see if it's on sale. So Veronica just posted the link to the cake spinner. Um, I think I'm just going to do a little 10 by 10 for this next one. And I'm going to be, I don't know. No, nah, I'll put some tape on it. <laughs> because it's a smaller canvas, I'm not really worried about the fact that it's got that wet paint on it. Should still be okay. okay. This time I'm putting the tape on before the gloves, which is smart. A plum color. Well, I have a little bit of Merlot. Oh, I might have Garnet, which is sort of, I can use purple and Garnet. Could be pretty. No brown. <laughs> I've kind of been liking brown a lot recently, <laughs> but that's okay. Definitely not everybody's cup of tea, understandably. All right, I got a little paint on the top already. Getting a head start. Okay, let's just go crazy. We can do a ton of metallics too, which could be fun. All right, so we're gonna start off with some white. And let's go with gold next. And then let's do a little bit of red. Yeah, I love the chocolate magic. Okay, and then we're gonna do some royal purple. and garnets. Okay, let's get in here with a bit more white. And see, I do have a little bit of the green left. What I think I'll do, let me see. I'm trying to think, because this green really doesn't go particularly with those colors. But I think if I just dump a little Caribbean teal in here and kind of darken that up, that could work out. So it'll be at least a darker green, maybe? Eh, let's try it, see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. That green calls itself emerald, but I disagree. All right, um, let's see, and or silver. We could get some silver in here. I don't typically put silver and gold together, but why not? Let's try it. I know I have silver here somewhere. Yep. So some of these will have more air bubbles than others. Oh, I need less paint for this. I think I'm about good. I want to add just a little bit of a, no, maybe that's good. 
No, maybe that's good. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. So I did put the silver at the end. So unfortunately, it probably will not be one of the prominent colors um, because it was the last one in. But maybe it'll still make it in here since we're doing a straight pour. It kind of spirals those colors into there. Oh, I definitely think that gold is going to represent this time. There's a whole science about putting your hand under there and catching that drip before it comes out. All right. Definitely got a lot of gold presents here. Don't want to have to spin this too much if I can avoid it. So I'm kind of just helping these corners out a bit. Awesome, Leanne. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I'm definitely not mining it in here. You can't see a lot of the silver, but it's definitely affecting the coloring through here. So I kind of, there's a little too much white over here. I'm going to try to run this section off. I went a little crazy with the white on this. There we go. I think that's pretty good, actually. I'm half tempted to run this corner off, but I think cells are going to be developing. So I think I might not worry about it too much. It reminds me of like a, like a hedgehog or something. <laughs> um, but I'm going to bring you guys in for close up so you can see the patterns that are developing in here, which are super cool. I really like them. And as always, I'm going to put my cups upside down on each other so that we can save this additional paint and use that in other projects. And I've got some pretty darn cool skins down here. Becky, I may have a confusion on what you are saying. <laughs> Was anyone on my uh, Facebook live earlier? Let me know. Barbie, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> All right, camera's gonna shake. Close your eyes or be a rebel and keep them open. It's totally up to you. Oh my gosh. Mess, 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 mess. Okay. So look, oh, Janice Joplin, yes. That's what I wondered if you were saying, but um, look at all these cool cells popping up through here with the garnet. So I think this white corner over here may change a little bit, but we'll see. And then this part is just cool. I was hoping for a little more sharper points. We got rounded points, but that's okay. And then over here, we just have this pretty delicate green. This reminds me of those like white and green, like mint candies you get at the restaurant as you're walking out <laughs> that aren't very good, but yeah. All right, well, I am gonna show you guys, since you're here, um, we'll demold the coasters that I did on the Facebook Live. So if you missed it, you can always watch on replay. But I'm just really excited. I want to see what they look like. So basically, I tried out this new project or product called Eco Pour. And it's almost like a plaster or a ceramic. Um, I used glitter in there. You can see the sparkle. And I made these coasters. And I did it as basically a dirty pour. So hoo, hoo, hoo. this is so cool. Look at that. <gasps> that is so pretty. The first ones I did were really kind of boring. This is pretty. So it is interesting that it didn't, the lines didn't stay at all, but it looks like gorgeous tie-dye. I'm okay with that. Let's look at this second one. 
Um, I was kind of interested to see if I would see that glitter at all because this is a white product. And yeah, no, you don't see the glitter at all, except on the back a little bit. But look at that, beautiful. And these are like, they're like ceramic, like plaster. So they're hard. I've got to clean up the edges a little bit. Um, you see a llama, but they're really cool. Um, yeah, so I just was a little impatient to demold those, but that's about all we have for today, guys. So a uh, final reminder here, um, all orders starting now, um, you're going to get one of these really cool scratchers, which is going to have a really fun discount in there. And then also, uh, until Friday, you can use the code new you for 40% off of any courses on my website. Okay. Oop. Um, Rhonda, these are flat and smooth. So if your cup is cold, then yes, these are not moisture absorbent. So on any, <laughs> I will do Barbie will do. Um, so actually, you know what? I wonder, we're gonna test it. I don't, I don't know that it's, I don't think it's gonna absorb the moisture. Um, but you know, I will happily test it. I'm gonna test it on the less pretty ones. <laughs> but my idea is to put um, cork on the back. So you could use this side for hot, then this side for cold. That's my idea, but anyways. Um, so 40% off of courses on the website with the code new you through this Friday and uh, I got a really sweet note here from Mike. He said, we want to thank you for all of your videos. My wife and I started doing acrylic pours and enjoyed it so much. Got all the grandkids involved. That's amazing. I love it. Okay. So I will test these coasters and I will let you guys know, but I do not think that they are absorbent. Um, I also made these really cool little tea light holders. So you can make all kinds of things with this stuff. All right, guys, that's all we have for today. Go grab your pouring medium, um, new mystery box colors, get your orders in so you can get those really cool scratchers and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.